guys! Welcome back to my channel! So today, quick video lang tayo guys. I just wanted to really show you guys what's in my toiletry or essentials bag. Ayan. Pero syempre, etos lang to. Hindi naman to yung para everyday toiletry bag ko guys. To be honest, kasi when I travel, when I do sleepovers, I tend to bring a lot para lang alam yun sigurado. What if wala silang ganito? What if yung pupuntahan ko walang ganyan? So usually, meron pa akong mga mas malalaking toiletry bags. Ayan. Anyways, since we are on a new normal setting, meaning hindi naman tayo masyadong nakaka-travel. Hindi nga tayo masyadong nakakalabas. Guys, sobrang miss ko na mag-travel. I miss going to sleepovers. I just miss hanging out with friends. So, in-adjust ko yung aking toiletry. Not only toiletry, pero yung mga current essentials ko. Although yung pagka-adjust ko sa kanya, still mentioning mga toiletry essentials na kahit anong mangyari sa atin, hindi dapat mawala sa ating routine. Okay, let's start. Two things that are super essential I can't live without. Of course, don't forget your face mask kasi na highly encourage you to wear face mask kapag lumalabas ka, guys. May news, guys, na coronavirus is actually airborne. Yung mind ko ngayon is really overwhelmed with everything to be honest but anyway i have this one the disposable ones you lagi yung nakita i have my in the pink one meron din nagpadala sa akin ito ito naman is washable na face mask so marami ng kulay ngayon maraming designs maraming everything tapos meron kang lalagyan ng filter sa loob pero i still would recommend or yung pinaka talaga foolproof sa akin yung is yung mga ganito lang yung mga disposable mas hindi pa pasok for me ha yung particles kapag ito yung gamit ko so yun very very essential ng face mask sa akin and of course marami din ako dito ang mga um, new normal essentials like alcohol. Though, before naman mag-quarantine, before pa magkaroon ng coronavirus, nagdalala na ako ng mga alcohol ganun. Pero ngayon talaga, cannot, cannot talaga live without them. So, I have alcohol yung sprayer lang. I also have hand sanitizer with me. By the way, guys, everything will be listed down below. Lahat ng laman nito para din kung meron kayong ma-miss out. And dun sa description box, lahat. And then, toothbrush na maliit lang. Ito, guys, may kasama ng toothbrush, may kasama ng toothpaste. So, super cute ito dalhin everywhere with you. This is also an essential a hair claw, ayan, or hair accessory like this one. Mas gusto ko na yung buhok ko ay nakatali sa buhok ko and it's not everywhere. Mas feeling ko mas maaliwala siya, tapos hindi rin yung buhok ko like na all over the place. So yung next products guys are everyday essentials ko na I cannot live without. Like everyday I use these products. Let's start with, okay, let's start with feminine wash. And this one I really wanna talk about it. Intimate area hygiene is super important and it's often overlooked. Ito yung gamit ko currently. It's a pH care intimate naturals feminine wash yung gamit ko ngayon is the guava variant. So this one is natural, it's antibacterial, tapos meron din siyang guava leaf extract na nakakatulong in controlling your bacteria and managing yung odor din. Especially at these times, we're all obsessed in like cleaning our bodies. Yung ngayon parang hand. People preach na para clean your hands, wash your face. But especially for girls, ha, not a lot of people preach na wash your intimate area. And that's also super important. There's always gonna be bacteria build up. There's always gonna be odor build up as well. And growing up, and instilled talaga ng mom ko na I also should be taking care. I shouldn't be neglecting my intimate area. Actually, mom ko rin nag-recommend sa ka ng pH care, ha. Ewan ko, siguro ginagamit niya ito before. Ever since I was in high school, puberty, nagamit ko na rin itong PH Care. So again, yung ginagamit ko is the guava variant. And I highly encourage, especially if you are a teen, to take care of your intimate area and use a feminine wash. By the way guys, sobrang safe ng PH Care for the intimate area because it's specifically and specially made for that area. It's got a PH level of 5 talaga to match the PH level of our intimate area, syempre. So no worries. It's really, really safe. Hindi po kita sa bahay lang tayo. Mas hindi tayo lumalabas. Not necessarily hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng back your build up hindi na tayo nagkakaroon ng odor build up actually odor build up is one of our main concerns when it comes to our feminine hygiene so ito guys super super recommend essential ko siya talaga ngayon i use this at least twice a day once in the morning and then once in the evening hanapan ko ng link to sa Lazada and sobrang affordable lang i think that's 100 104 pesos ba? Sobrang affordable. This is really super good. It's not irritating sa ating intimate area. It's super gentle. I highly recommend this and this is definitely one of my top essentials. Another essential for me is deodorant and nagkatry ako ngayon ng mas gentle na deodorant. Titignan ko kasi kung may effect sa aking underarms kasi medyo nagdadarken na naman yung underarms ko. Ah, alam ko na kung bakit kasi minsan kinakamot ko siya talaga. Like, medyo na-irritate siya so I have to kamot-kamot. So I feel like that has been one of the reasons why I feel like my underarms are darkening a little bit, so I'm using just like a natural deodorant this time. Face powder is also really essential for me, kasi kahit na hindi ako nag full face of makeup, maaasahan ko to kapag feeling ko sobrang oily ko na, or kailan ko mag-touch up or something. And kahit na lumalabas ako for errands, yung face powder is very essential then. Although, if kaya nyo hindi mag-makeup, especially at times like this, okay lang din naman kasi naka-mask naman tayo, alam mo yun? For the lips, I prefer mga tinted lip balms like this one. Ayan. Kesa yung magdadala pa ako ng lipstick or liquid lipstick or lip tint. This adds a hint of 
color onto my lips and it does moisturize my lips at the same time. Then, pabango. Nagdadala ko na pabango just to refresh myself as well. Ang bango nito kasi amoy summer siya. Kahit na nasa bahay lang ako or kahit na errands lang ako pag lumalabas, alam mo yun, parang feeling ko, it calms me down. I get a hint of the beach. I got a sense of the smell of the beach. And parang wala lang, nakamiss, nakamiss. Pag meron ako mga irritation, pag may kagat ako, or pag meron akong dry patches, ito yung ginagamit ko lately. I'll let you know, you guys, if this works for me in the long run. But so far, I've been enjoying this. As in, maganda siya. It's like an all-around kind of thing for um, all of my concerns lately. Kasi if I can use less skincare products, I will. And last but not the least is a sunscreen. Like, super importante sa akin ang sunscreen. So, I apply it every morning kahit na sa bahay lang ako. And I prefer sunscreen sa super lightweight lang para hindi ko siya maramdaman. So, sunscreen is a definite must for me. Thankful na ako na mas nagsasunscreen na ako ngayon. Kasi for the past couple of years, I've been slacking off, especially on my sunscreen, kasi all of the sunscreens I've been trying out are a little bit heavier. Pero ngayon na nakahanap na ako ng mas lightweight sunscreens na gustong-gusto ko, eh, mas nagsasunscreen talaga ako. So, I highly, highly recommend you apply your sunscreen. Those are my current essentials, like general essentials that I really, really can't live without. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Sana may natutunan kayo. I hope you found some helpful recommendations. Again, guys, I love you so much. Please stay safe tayo lahat. Just stay at home if you can. And yeah, I love you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below what you want to see next on my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye!